Good evening. Bayer agreed to sell off $9 billion in assets, clearing the way for them to buy Monsanto. News 3's Brooke Slyer has reactions from local farmers on the deal in the works, which could create the largest agriculture company for seeds and pesticides in the world. Brooke. Carolyn, I reached out to several farmers who actually had little knowledge of German-based Barrett wanting to buy Monsanto. The two farmers who are willing to speak with me had opposing views on the deal. One believes it will lessen competition and cause prices to go up, while the other thinks it will help improve farming technology. We farm uh, corn, soybeans, and a few years that we'll uh, have some wheat. Uh, we've got a cow-calf operation, run about 30 head of cows. Randy Anderson runs a family farm in Galatia with his two sons. 100% of my seed has some form of technology that uh, Monsanto Company has developed, and there is some uh, products that I use, you know, farm chemical-wise that are, you know, bear products. Anderson fears the possible merger will hurt products competition and raise prices. There's no way to, what you could say, pass that on down to the consumer. It's just passed on to us and we'll end up having to absorb those costs. He also believes if Bayer acquires Monsanto, the company could overlook farmers' concerns. They have territory reps uh, that comes out and if I have a problem with a certain product or if I have a problem with a certain uh, corn or soybean, they're easier to get a hold of. Meanwhile, Leon McLaren, who owns a grain farm in Thompsonville, believes a merger will help farmers. It will create more research and development, uh, should, should provide us better products in the future. McLaren says there are enough agriculture companies selling supplies that the deal will not affect competition. If anything, should create more efficiencies and perhaps uh, lower prices and, and provide better products. Now, Bayer still needs permission from Canada and Mexico before it can buy Monsanto. However, if Bayer does not close a deal by June 14th, Monsanto could look for a higher bid than its current $66 billion price tag. Live in studio, Brooke Slyer, News 3.